Okay, when cries Mary and Jimmy. Uh, here's the way I play it. Here's the way it'll sound. Okay, so let's do the intro part. Um, it's kind of, I would think of it like, you know how you play your uh, a major chord off of the A string? Like that's D, C, uh, E, so on. So just think of it like the power chord of it, uh, but you're going to be playing um, D sharp or E flat. I guess you can look at E flat, E flat's easier probably. So do E flat, which is just the A string on the 6th fret and then the D and G strings on the 8th uh, fret, right? Those three notes. And then put your index on the bottom E as well. So now you've got 5 on the E, 5 on the I mean 6 on the E and 6 on the A, right? And then you've got your, uh, the other two are the same as before. So you kind of get that bass voicing right there, right? So we're just going to slide that up a half step each time to where we end up on the uh, eighth fret, right? And what I usually like to do is I kind of just slide into it. You can either slide into it or whatever, whatever you feel on that day. So just gonna. Okay, and then the next part, since you're already on the eighth fret, just move your um, index finger down and bar the uh, A and the D string on the eighth fret, and then we're just going to hammer on, since we're just going to be playing those two notes, we're going to hammer on our ring finger onto the um, tenth fret of the A string, each time. Okay? So you're basically going from uh, eight, nine, ten with your index. And then there's like a little tag he does right there. Um, you can just do it however you want, but, um, let's see, we end up on, so we went to, um, so since you're, you're on that last part there, you know, you're hammering on your ring finger to the 12th fret of the A string. So now just keeping, we're just going to be playing on the, um, 10th fret and the 12th fret. So just hammer on from 10 to 12 on the A string and then go to the D string on the 10th fret. And then hammer on, hit the it again. See that? So you're just hammering on from 12, off again, back to 10, and then resolving or ending right there on the same note that you started with, right? Which was hammering on A string, A note, 12th fret, so. So get it together and you got it. And then we're gonna go to the verse, and it'll sound like this. Okay, so we're just going to be playing C chord. I'm assuming you already know these, these bar chords with, with the root on the A string. So we're going to go from C to uh, B flat, I guess. That's what I would call it. So from, from C to B flat to F. And F is with the root on the you know, first fret. Bar the first fret. I'm sure, same as the E. Just slide it over half. Okay, right, so B flat to the F. Now, a lot of times, what, what I'll do is I'll just play, you know, I play with my thumb over the top to hit the bass note when I want to hit it. But 
key. It sounds like some of the voices you can suspend the F by lifting off your middle finger. So you can kind of go. Just to give a little bit of movement within the chord. on your pinky, whatever, on any of the G, B, or D strings you can hammer on. Whatever. So, um, so yeah, we got C, B flat, to F, and then do it again. Now the third time, we're gonna stop off right there on the way to B flat, so to stop off with B. And then F again, right? Then we're gonna go to G, same as F, just, you know, on the third fret now. Back to where, you know, that A flat, or, or B flat shape. And then we're back to where we just were, right? And then the intro. Right, so the verses. So we'll pick it up on that last time when we do the uh, half step, right? So. Okay, and then go back to G, you can do that again. I think I'm pretty sure the song is an E flat, but I think you can play it because I kind of did it that way. Um, you know, the tune it so you don't have to change the recording, you can just play it the way I showed it to you, and you should be able to play it right along. So let's put those two parts together, and you've got the main. And then when you get, if you ever want a solo, when you get to the solo part, he's basically doing most of it in E major. Oh, you know, like. Stuff like that. So you can just E major, just whatever, you know, make it your own. So, okay, so we'll start from the beginning and we'll just kind of play through what we got here as well. Enjoy.